You know, fans have practically become a part of the close-knit family on Bob Hats at Bishola. So we all know that there's nothing like spending a little quality time together. That's your price for an HVAC installation? Well, better be a hybrid split system or I'm going to lose it. He's been on business calls the entire drive. Don't jerk me around. You're talking to Bob Wheeler here. I love when he tells them who they are talking to. <laughs> Is your mother not with you? Oh, she did not feel like it. She said she would not be good company. Well, it never stopped her before. Well, this woman is always a good company. Well, Bob may heart at Bishola, but we heart our next guest. She's a brilliant actress with a knack for comedic timing. And when she's not making folks laugh on her hit sitcom, this woman of many talents keeps us entertained with her music. And we are super excited to have her here with us this morning. Please give it up for a beyond brilliant actress, a real life rock star. And of course, my sister from another mister, Folake Olowo Foye in the house. I don't know the name. I know, right? <laughs> I want the ancestors to, to yeah. send lightning to strike yeah. me down if I don't say the name right. Right? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. All right, so everyone's like, why is she louder than usual today? Well, because you said I'm now your new what? Travel buddy. Ah, uh, yes! No, I like to travel, though. Can what? we keep up? What? Do you know what I went last year? I did Panama, Guadalajara, I did Monaco. But well, you I have did... to get in it. Like, we're going to hike in the mountains with the gorillas. Will I be with you there? Yeah. Cause you're, okay, because you're, you're, you're the brave one. I'm the... We're going to go bungee jumping, skydiving in Dubai, <laughs> that kind of stuff. <laughs> right? <laughs> Someone's <laughs> laughing. All right, I'll, I'll do whatever. And I forgive you because the last time I, you were here, the last time you were here, you were here with Mr. Gardell. Yes. yes. The, the ever so lovely Mr. Gardell. Yes. And we were planning your wedding. Yes. A wedding that we I were planning. I'm like, we were planning. Like, look at me, how I get, I put myself in the <laughs> yeah. system. I'm telling you. It's we a family affair. Yeah, we, we were planning your wedding. And when we say a wedding, we don't mean just any wedding. And now the wedding is over and done with, but the excitement is still continuing. Yeah, let's not forget that that was a legendary wedding okay. for television, primetime television in America. So, so now that the wedding is over, yes. and I, there's always, even though the wedding is off, Nigerians, the family itself, it's a, every day is a celebration. Every day. Every day is excitement. Oh, one bear and all of them. Oh, one bear and every yeah. single thing. So, what, so talk to us about like what we, we've, we've gone through a lot with Baba Nabishala. So what are we going through now? What is uh, let what me, is there let me, to let me yeah. I'm in New York right now, uh -huh. but I have to take my head back to LA. Uh, what's going on right now? Shoot, why don't I remember? A lot of family stuff. There's a, a lot, lot of, of stuff. A lot of madness. Okay, this is what's going on. Are I you allowed to tell us? Well, not complete. You don't want me to ruin it, right? Yeah, but but th this th one thing is for sure. There's always going to be love. There's always love. So Bob is now opening uh, a different manufacturing, sock manufacturing plant in Detroit. Mm -hmm. And Abishala is kind of losing her mind because she doesn't want to lose all the money that they've earned. Mm -hmm. But she's also trying to be a supportive wife as well. And it, it's, it's interesting that she's a nurse because that's like one of the dream list, dream jobs list. For, 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 an, for every African Nigerian parent. African yeah. parent, <laughs> yeah. doctor, nurse, engineer, yeah. lawyer, blah blah blah, and then uh, you're 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 kind of like fulfilling that dream because you're like at least I play one on TV. Yeah, I feel like I was raised to be Abishala, and then I, then I became me. But I get to play her on television. And you play her brilliantly. Thank you. Your cast, I tell Gina I love her, by the way. Okay. I swear to God, I stalk her all the time. Don't tell her that part. But you know what I mean? Okay. But, but, but you... Healthy stalking is yeah, healthy such well, a thing. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But, but let me just tell you that uh, when I say, I was telling them earlier that you are every woman. Because not everyone that can say that they've done movies. They've done, uh, they have a hit TV show. And then they've done music. And when, I, when any African parent that sees all over your accomplishments... Over-ambitious African. No, but you do it well. You Thank do it really you. well and effortlessly. Uh, and let me just you. say, whenever any, the, your ancestors are there going, eh, 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 okay, 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 you're, okay. Making, <laughs> you're making us proud. Which Thank is the you. title of your new song. Yes. We have a clip, we're going to listen, and then we'll chit chat. Okay. Okay, so for, so for me, as soon as I hear that, I know what that means. It's like, yeah. right, uh -huh, uh -huh. Is that what we're talking about? Uh -huh. Oh, all right, uh -huh. all right, we're going there. Yeah, we're going there. So just... Just talk to us about your music. Like, this, it's it's like very eclectic because there's not a particular. You fit in different genres. Yeah, yeah. That that just came out of me. I think I wrote that song in like five minutes, ten minutes max, mm. and um, yeah. it speaks to some of the atrocities and uh, and some of the um, of the things we deal with in Lagos, Nigeria. I shot that in Lagos, actually, mm -hmm. like a block from where I was born and where I went to primary school. And um, I wanted. I felt like with this platform, it was important for me to highlight what we also experience in Nigeria mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. 
even though I wrote this song about 10 years ago, is still relevant, and that's quite unfortunate. And I'm hoping that things could get better for the country soon. Yeah, well, with people like you, with voices like yours, with your platform, that's definitely going to happen because you are a force. Thank you are a force, like, beyond, because I know you work with Redefine, you, like a project of Redefine American, what it yes. means to be that. And I'm going to talk about something even more important, because for 20 years, you were misdiagnosed. I with wasn't even diagnosed. You it took a long time to be diagnosed. Because yeah, I have so. a friend who suffers from that. So now you're championing that, championing that cause. Yeah, it's, there's a solution. I didn't have to deal with chronic pain for 20 years. Okay. So pretty much for, for every, every month for about five to six days, I was literally giving birth. I was experiencing that kind of pain mm. from the age of 13. Oh, my gosh. And there was a cure. Like in a six-hour surgery, no pain anymore. And I... I the amazing doctor I worked with, Dr. Tamar Sechkin. Mm -hmm. He's one of the founders of the Endometriosis Foundation. And I want to spread it far and wide that it's, you don't have to live with that kind of pain. And we, we, since we follow you er everywhere, television, online, Instagrams, uh, stalker, <laughs> <laughs> we know that we're going to be putting our support behind you. Thank you. Whatever you need us to do. I love how you're redefining what it means to be American. As someone who's been Nigeria, British, uh, Britain, Britain, and do I, do I earn the title of American? I feel like I'm still Nigerian, though. We're always Nigerian. Right? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, Jenica, can be Obi. What's your full name? Folake Abike Ano Olujo Kotala Olofu. Oh, Koko Rikma. You didn't even practice that. <laughs> we didn't even, you don't even have to practice it. And you, how was it like trying to spell your name as a kid? Was it, but you're smart, so it wasn't difficult, right? Uh, what do you mean? In you Nigeria? Know you learn, yeah, you know how to learn how to spell your name? Like they say, my name is, uh, you have more, I, th I thought I had more, more vowels in my name. You have Do more you? letters? Olofoyeku. Like, the, even yeah. the letters, the Olofoyeku, you have, like, it's a, all it's, It gets a bit confusing. Yeah, a lot yeah. of zeros, a lot of O's. Yeah, a lot of But o. it was nothing. I mean, that was, that was my name. See, because you're smart. Name. I know, but first of all, because you're smart. Ooh, ooh. And also, also, are you going to go to the Oscars? Because the predictions are out. Are you going to go? Because you know Chuck Lorre. I know it's TV, but he knows people. If they have me, I'll be there. Ooh, if you need, a, if you need a, someone to take you in the red carpet, I'll be your bodyguard. All right. Travel partner. <laughs> All right, Falake, it's such a pleasure to have you on set. Yeah, Tell yeah. Mr. Gardell I said hi. Gina, I said hi. You can see more of my travel buddy, my sister from another Mista on Bob Hart, Bishala, on Monday nights on CBS.